It is claimed that Ukraine's strikes on Crimea with ATA CMS were coordinated by U.S. Fort 12 drone. The U.S. Air Force Global Hawk reconnaissance drone has made an unprecedented approach to targets in Crimea during massive Ukrainian strikes. At the same time, he flew to the coast of the peninsula in advance. According to the Kiev Post, in a rare flight, one of the Pentagon's most powerful and expensive surveillance drones was in the airspace near Russian-occupied territory at the same time that Ukrainian forces were striking targets. An analysis of open-source flight tracking data showed that a Northrop Grumman RQ-4B Global Hawk Call sign Fort 12 arrived in airspace southwest of the main Russian military base in the Crimean city of Sevastopol at least three hours before the Ukrainian strikes on targets in the peninsula. The drone stayed in the area for seven hours before returning to its base in Italy. A high-tech reconnaissance aircraft packed with radar, direction-finding electronics and multi-spectral sensors, the Global Hawk is the United States' premier reconnaissance drone. U.S. flight planners have repeatedly sent planes over the Black Sea, but during past Ukrainian strikes, U.S. flight controllers prevented the $200 million-plus plane from flying so close to the Crimea during actual military strikes from Kyiv. Powerful explosions that occurred on June the 12th were heard in the vicinity of Sevastopol, the Saki airfield near the village of Fedorovka and the city port of Yev Potoria. The explosions lasted about 10 minutes and were caused by rockets. The targets were Russian military installations. According to some sources, these were airfields and airplanes, according to the others, Russian air defense systems. About three kilometers south of a large military airfield, smoke with a strong odor of burnt petroleum products was visible. Some reports claim that at least one Kiev missile damaged elements of the Russian S-400 system, the Kremlin's main air defense system, which is based near the Sevastopol airfield. Other reports indicate that the weapons used in the strikes were US-made ATA CMS missiles, some with conventional warheads and at least one with a cluster warhead. The second Ukrainian strike round appears to have been aimed at logistics or possibly transport infrastructure in northern Crimea. At the same time, of the Ukrainian strikes, Fort 12 was 190 to 200 kilometers from the Sevastopol in international airspace. He was in the air for about seven hours during a flight that lasted approximately 16 hours. After Russia's first invasion of Ukraine and annexation of Crimea in 2014, U.S. Air Force intelligence commanders sent Global Hawk patrols into airspace over the Black Sea for years. Flights usually take place twice a week. The drone is almost never sent closer than 150 kilometers from the Russian-controlled territory. Russian military analysts have accused the Pentagon of using the flights to collect targeting information that is passed on to Kyiv. In addition, the Russians claim that the Americans turn off transponders from time to time to allow surveillance drones to more covertly monitor Russian territory. Air Force representatives said the flights were not provocative and were in full compliance with international law.